problems. Nowadays, it's all about me. Mm. <laughs> all about what I can get. All about what I can achieve. And I am the only one who can reach my dreams. Therefore, it only matters what I think or feel. I mean, you aren't going to check for my needs. You told me to work the team and then turn around and told me to strive for what's important to me. And since that is to be on top, I will spend my time making sure I never drop. Mm -hmm. There may be no I in team, but I am right at the center of win. And seeing <laughs> as you are nowhere in there, don't even think I'll let you in. <laughs> Sound familiar to you? Because it sure does to me. So many of us subconsciously make the same speech daily. We've become so obsessed with ourselves that we've taken the liberty of putting Christ on a shelf. And by straining to see in darkness without the light of life, we have developed eye problems mm -hmm. and are all walking blind. We can't see the sun, so we feel our way around and it seems to be working till we end up on the ground. Then in an attempt to replace the optic nerve, we put on special glasses, which ultimately only serve to transport us to the world we think we deserve. Mm. So spread your wings and fly, they tell you in virtual reality. No wonder you're on the ground thinking you're defying gravity. <laughs> because this humanism has become as common as the common <clears throat> cold, infecting people everywhere, young and old, with the ideology that the ending of all being is the happiness of man, when our goal should be to bring glory to the great I am. It's teaching that man is the center of all things existing, and the problems man face can be solved by man's fixing. Well, you want to be happy, here's something for you. Happiness is the byproduct of living in truth. But you live in a lie, lying around all day, lying to yourself, you miss that your lie is the truth and that it's all about you and about nobody else. Mm. Because this humanistic thinking has clouded our vision to the point where we believe that we are at the center of the universe. Mm. But if you study geography, you would know that you're about 6,380 kilometers away from the center of the Earth. And according to physics, you are not big enough to have a strong gravitational field. So by that logic, truth is, you really can't be the center of anything other than your ego. Ooh. And according to astrology, the sun is at the center of the solar system. And heavenly bodies can only attract and not repel, so you really can't miss him. Whether you want him or not, he is the source of all life. You are subconsciously drawn to his warmth without which you will surely die. I dare you. Open your eyes and look directly at the sun. You will become blind to the things of this world, but you will see the only one who can cure you of this disease that you have fallen prey to. That in your blindness you might see and of your eyes make good use. Now it took me till recently to realize that it now it took me till recently to realize what I need to have real eyes, so I made my way down to the doctor who's better than any expert at Pearl Vision. He executed the needed procedures with a flawless precision. He unclouded my vision by removing the cataracts and patched up my cornea, giving me the protection I so lacked. He added cones to my rods so I could see in full color, read that it's not about me but about the blood that was shed and even though the image refracted through my lens is inverted, he restored my optic nerve so the image of the cross is not perverted. Mm. But see, no one really wants to see the eye doctor, we just want an imitation. So we spend our time trying on reading glasses when we need a new prescription because no one wants to see Claire Lee. Mm. They just want to see Claire enough. Mm. So we avoid laser eye surgery and merely get by on the fake stuff. I'm begging. Don't let your eyes keep bothering you. Go see the master surgeon instead. He replace your iris with service so you can serve him instead. And I know it sounds strange, but it's important. So please hear me. If you just remove your eyes, you'll see him a lot more clearly. And some of you might not get it, so let me show you what I mean. If you just remove your eyes, you'll see Christ a lot more clearly. Thanks.